Welcome to yoga class. And if you're a return student, welcome back. It is lovely to see your face again. Maybe you would like to grab a sweater for this gentle flow. Join me on your yoga mat seated on your knees. Close your eyes for a moment and notice your body position. Are you arching or leaning off to one side? Breathe long and deeply with every inhale and exhale. Tilt your head off to one side, looping it around, pressing your fingertips into the ground. Loop your head the opposite direction slowly with your breath. Place your hands behind you, fingertips facing your butt. Pull your weight over your hands and lift your knees off of the ground. Look to the sky, elongate your chin towards the sky and your shoulders away from your ears. Lower your knees slowly back to the ground and then let your body roll back into a neutral spine position before sitting on your butt. Loop your right leg over your left and hug your knee to your chest as much as you can. Then put your right arm on the ground behind you and twist looking over your right shoulder with every inhale Elongate your spine. With every exhale, twist further. Untwist from this position. Switch your legs so your left leg is now over your right. Hug your knee to your chest as much as you can. Then place your left hand on the floor right behind you. With every inhale, elongate your spine towards the ceiling. With every exhale, look over your shoulder and twist your spine further to the left. Untwist from this position and then make your way back into your seated position with your feet under your butt. Slowly make your way through tabletop position, then extending your arms out in front of you, lean into a puppy pose. Rest your forehead on the mat in front of you, or look to your hands and rest your chin on the mat. Extend your hands as far out in front of you, or pull your butt closer to your feet and ankles. Choose whatever style puppy pose best works for you today. Pull your belly button towards your spine so that you rise up and you're able to easily sit back on your heels one more time. Position a block in between your feet. Sit back on the block. Place your hands behind you, close to your feet. Slowly lower yourself down onto your elbows. Look up at the sky. Maybe even you want to lower down further than this. At any point, feel free to remove the block to get a further deeper stretch. Keep a neutral neck the entire time. Tuck your tail and press your knees into the ground. At any point, come out of this stretch. Use your core and your arms to pull yourself out of this stretch. Place your hands on your heels, gripping them firmly. I prefer to have my toes untucked for this. Place your forehead on the mat, then rise your hips up as if you were trying to go into a down dog. Stay here in rabbit as long as you'd like, or come in and out of rabbit pose. Breathe deeply as you sit back onto your heels and take the pressure away from your forehead. Reach your hands out all the way in front of you and continue to press yourself back into a child's position. Extend your arms as much as you can and keep them straight. Continue to breathe here, checking in with your body.
Move your hands so they are directly below your shoulders. Grip the floor and push yourself into down dog position. Any down dog of your choosing today, just continue to push through your shoulders and loosen up whatever you feel needs to be loosened. Wiggle your legs a little bit, bending one knee at a time. Then rise up onto your toes and tippy toe all the way so you are in a forward fold at the front of your mat. Bend your knees generously so you can put the palms of your hands flatly against the ground. Then interlace your arms and hang and sway side to side, elongating your spine. Place your hands on the floor in front of you and then step with whichever leg you prefer so you're now facing the long side of your mat in a wide-legged forward fold. Bend and sway in your wide-legged forward fold, allowing gravity and momentum to elongate your spine and relax you even further. Maybe you want to have a gentle bend in your knees. Maybe you would like straight legs. Place the palms of your hands firmly on the ground and make your way into a seated position. Sit with your legs outstretched straight in front of you. Flex your feet, rotate your hips so that your legs are pulling together, rotating the underside out and the tops of your legs, rotating them towards each other. Press your hands into the floor behind you with your fingers facing you. Then, position your weight slightly back onto your hands, just a little bit. Elongate your spine. Notice if you're swaying in one direction or the other, if one hand is pushing harder than the other. Pull your belly button towards your spine, sitting yourself even taller on your sit bones. Then, you're going to want to switch your hands slightly. Position them so that they are slightly under your butt. You might need to scoot one at a time a little bit. Then bend your knees backwards towards the back of your mat and lean back on your elbows. Slowly lower yourself so your head and your elbows are both touching the ground. Continue to rotate your legs tightly against each other and feel your spine elongate and your chest open up towards the sky. Tuck your chin and keep your neck in a neutral position as you scoot back all the way down to your mat, fully pressing your spine into your mat. Move your knees so now your heels are barely able to touch your hands if they're fully extended towards the front of your mat. Keep your feet hip distance apart as you tuck your tail so generously that it pushes your hips towards the sky. Use your quads and continue to push towards the sky. Interlace your hands behind your back and move the pressure from your upper back all the way up to your shoulders. Keep your gaze and your neck neutral. Do not look out to one side or the other. Whenever you're ready, unlace your fingers and slowly, slowly, slowly lower one vertebrae at a time all the way to the ground. Wiggle out a bit, then one at a time, bring each knee up to your chest and grab your foot. Wherever it feels best for you, grab your foot, the outside or the inside. Keep your knees bent towards your chest and rotate and roll around in happy baby pose. Press the soles of your feet into each other before slowly lowering your legs down to the mat. Keep the soles of your feet pressing against each other. Relax your knees outwards. 
Stay here in a bounded reclined angel position. Press your entire spine into the mat and relax your breathing. Slowly engage your core and shift your left leg so it swings over to your right side. Both of your knees should be bent and pointed towards the right side. Keep your arms in a T with both of your shoulder blades pressed into the ground. Use your core to open your legs back into a bounded angel position with your feet pressing against each other. Slowly relax further and deeper into this stretch. Keeping your shoulders pressing into the ground and your arms into a T, engage your core and send your right knee to your left side. So both of your knees are now bent and pointing to your left side. Engage your core and pull yourself back into one last bounded angel position. Let your spine press firmly all the way into the ground. Grab a block. Pull your knees together so they are pointing to the sky. Press with your feet so that you have enough room to place the block directly on your sacrum. Straighten your legs so that your heels are pushing towards the sky. Straighten and bend your knees whenever you choose. Keep your legs tight together and feel the relief and the blood coming out of your feet and legs and towards the center of your body. Relax here in any arm position that you feel best in. Bend your knees, place your feet on the ground, and remove the block. Send your feet straight out towards the front of your mat in a reclined position. Join me in a one minute Shavasana. Rise your knees up to your chest, hug them against yourself, then lean to one side. Slowly open your eyes and rise to a seated position whenever you feel ready. Thank you so much for joining me in yoga today. I had a wonderful time teaching and it would mean so much to me if you were to subscribe. It's completely free for you and it really, really helps my channel. So thank you and have a really good day.